I have a simple problem when I fix it on a budget. I need to charge an electric bicycle when I'm in the woods. This Centec, it's a piece of garbage because it's not pure sine wave. So I bought a pure sine wave inverter. Now give an oscilloscope to a guy and he will find everything that's wrong with it. But I don't care what's wrong with it. I just wanna know if it works for what I need. I wanna hook it up to my car, charge my battery with my charger. It's simple as that. If it works with this, I don't care how clear the wave is because this is an affordable solution. This is not an expensive one. And because this charger absolutely hated this controller, it didn't work at all. I'm gonna test it out and make sure it works. If it works, that's all I need. It is sold as a pure sign inverter, 300 maximum, peak 600. I only need 150, so I should be good. Now I know the battery for the car doesn't have a thousand watts, which I need to charge my bas bicycle, but I'm planning to run my motor and drive from one place to another and in a couple of hours it will charge. Here's my car. I have it on a charger just so I don't kill the battery, right? I'm gonna test it out on my cheaper bicycle first. This one, I don't care if it blows up. I'm also gonna hook up a kilowatt to it because this one was acting up before when I plugged it in. So let's see what it's reading. It's reading 119, 118 volts. Charger plugged in, green light came on. As far as the numbers goes, this one is only pulling 53 watts out of it. So we should be good. We're taking it easy in the beginning and then we'll go a little bit harder later on. So I switched to my second charger. This one is using 100 watts, 110 watts. And this bicycle is charging now. This is an excellent lesson for those people that buy the 1000 watt, the 2000 watt inverters. There's no reason because this is a normal battery on the car. If you're expecting to pull 2000 watts out of it, it's not gonna work. So we started at 26% on the battery. Let's see where it goes in an hour or two. Usually if the pure sign wave is not good enough, you could hear a buzzing noise on these things that they overheat like crazy. This one so far is cool. So we're gonna come and check it out in a couple of hours. And there you go. Battery is already 47%. This one is doing about 100 watts pushing in right now. It's in the middle of the battery charge, so usually the voltage, the wattage goes a little bit higher. So it used 150 watts so far, so that's how much it pushed through in an hour and 33 minutes. So that kind of like makes sense because it's about 100 watts an hour. This unit is nice and cool. Doesn't make too much noise. I can feel the fan going. What's making the noise is this battery charger that is maintaining my battery while I'm doing this experiment. Usually I would do this when my car is running or over solar. So is it a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter? Absolutely. Or at least it does the job that I needed to do. This one is a total keep. If somebody put an oscilloscope on it and the sine wave is not perfect, it works for what I need. So I don't care. My charger is nice and cool. It doesn't make any buzzing noises. My bike is getting charged. That's all I needed. Thanks for watching.